everyone. Today we are going to do a poem, Friends, written by Abby Farrell Brown, an American poetess who was born in the year 1871 and died in 1927. She has written many stories, plays and poems for children. Most of her poems have been turned into songs which are sung by children in schools. Here in this poem, the poetess talks about a little boy who enjoys the company of different elements of nature like sunlight, wind, sky, tree, etc. These elements of nature are lingering around the child and make him feel secure and unafraid. Let us read the first stanza. How good to lie a little while and look up through the tree. The sky is like a kind big smile bent sweetly over me. Here in the first stanza, the poet talks about a child who lies down under the big tree and looks at the pleasant blue sky through the gaps provided by the branches and leaves of the tree. Now the child feels very happy because he feels that as he is looking up at the sky, even the sky is bending down towards him with a big and kind smile. Now look at stanza 2. The sunshine flickers through the lace of leaves above my head and kisses me upon the face like mother before bed. Here in the second stanza, the child looks up and watches the leaves that look as if they have been beautifully woven into lace and the sunlight is falling on his face streaming through the canopy of the leaves. The gentle touch of sunlight on his face reminds him of his mother who never forgets to give him a good night kiss before he goes to bed. Now we see stanza 3. The wind comes stealing o'er the grass to whisper pretty things. And though I cannot see him pass, I feel his careful wings. Here in the third stanza, the child talks about the third element of the nature and that is wind. While the, child, while the child is enjoying the warm sunlight, he is able to feel the breeze or wind that touches him while blowing over the grass. It appears to the child that the moving wind whispers something pleasant or soothing into his ears. Now we have come to last stanza. So many gentle friends are near whom one can scarcely see. A child should never feel a fear wherever he may be. Here in the last stanza, the child says that he need not feel lonely and afraid when there are so many friends around him whom he may not see, but they are always present to protect, to accompany or to give him comfort. So, finally we can say that even though the child is all by himself, he doesn't feel alone. All the elements of the nature around him make him happy. He feels that the sun, the tree, the cloud and the sky are all his companions and thus he enjoys a lot and does not feel afraid with his friends.